India's AI adoption is the fastest in the world and medical sciences is ki main applications mein se hain. But which stocks can capitalize on this? Let's find out. Sabse pehle, we have Bosch and its stock kaafi bada hua hai. But agar hum iski average P ko consider kare, to it's still trading quite below its peak. Which means isne bull run continue hone ke chances achche hain. At the same time, if we look at volume spikes, usually volumes have spiked when the stock has risen sharp. So that's a good sign for progression as it is. At the same time, if we compare the market cap to sales, ko compare kare, to we'll see that the ratio is around 5.3. Aata hai. A good ratio here is about 2. So this stock is overvalued from overvalued. But it has been so historically. Given that Bosch is an MNC and it has a wide variety of products, especially in this sector of auto ancillaries, which is anyway booming, this high pricing seems about justified. Of late though, Bosch has been given an even higher valuation because of its foray into IOMT. IOMT ka matlab the Internet of Medical Things. This is included in our consumer wearables, which can monitor our breathing and our heart. Ko monitor kar sakte but these are not just any devices that we can buy off Amazon. What Bosch has done is it has created an ecosystem which is integrated. Hai. In their devices' ke measurements directly in their software mein, called Viva Suite register. Ho and the doctor and the patient can both monitor it, being hundreds of kilometers apart. Now, to market, we have an example of a product called Vivatmo. Vivatmo is used to measure inflammation in asthma patients, and in India, mein we have about 3 crore asthma patients. This product ka price is around 65,000 rupees, so in combination, we get about 2 lakh crore ka possible market. Now, I know what you're thinking, Tarun, not everyone is going to buy something this expensive. And I agree. But if we take 10% adoption, bhi lete hai, that is a market of around 20,000 crores, which is more than the current sales of the company, just for one product. Bosch is building a whole ecosystem of these products, both for the patients and the hospitals. Also remember that this is an add-on to Bosch's main business. Their main business has been auto ancillaries and home appliances. So anything they make through this business is going to go directly on top of what they already have. That is why a multi-bagger potential for Bosch. But Bosch ke AI applications are very simple in nature. They are what we think of when we think of AI. AI ke real applications though back-end pe hote hai. For example, jab hum ek doctor ke paas jaate hain, hum ek medicine milti hai, hum nahi sochte ki us medicine ke peeche research kya gai hai. But AI sabse zyada usi stage pe help kare. For example, Persistent Systems is working with a startup called Lung Life AI to reduce lung cancer detection time by about 70%. Now what they do is, they use a fish test in which they convert a cell's behavior in a pattern and convert lung cancer to CT or PET scan. Now lung cancer is a disease in which early detection is key to survival. So its application will be universal. Hoga. At the same time, we have about 70,000 cases of lung cancer every year in our country. So the market is definitely big enough. And again, this is only one disease. Persistent is also working on a similar solution for kidney disease. And as they prove success, they'll definitely move on to more. And an even bigger application of Persistent's AI is an enhanced analysis pipeline. This is a very big problem for pharma. See, to invent a new medicine, we have to look at old medicines, find new combinations, test them over decades in a very costly endeavor to come up with something that can work. Persistent ka AI kya karta hai? Ye sari research ko backend pe karta hai by running through all the data it has access to. Ye ek human nahi kar sakta because the data is just too much. They've already successfully used this to come up with a drug called Marimostat for colorectal cancer. And after they suggested it, the pharma companies picked up on it, tested it and right now, the clinical trials are in their final stages. Now imagine if Persistent as a software company can come up with medicines for big diseases, the market that will open up will be huge. Taking just colorectal cancer as an example, we get about 59,000 cases every year and every case takes anywhere between 1 to 10 lakhs to treat. Imagine the size of that market. Yes, Persistent will only get a small fraction of that, but the company will also work on more diseases, come up with more solutions and consequently more royalty. The stock has recently corrected by about 25% after its management gave a weak commentary, but the main reason was probably the impending recession and not a fundamental problem with the company. So I would have no qualms investing in it, given that its earnings have doubled in the last two years. 
It is a portfolio stock though, so I would invest in tranches at every 20% or so correction. Next, we have AstraZeneca Pharma and this stock is also corrected by about 20%, but more importantly, it's trading at about a 40% discount to its historical average PE. At the same time, Iskibi AI applications are quite diversified. For example, like Persistent, it is also working on building medicines. They've already done that for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which is a very common disease among smokers, and chronic kidney disease, which is a very common disease among alcoholics. So these are two very big markets that the company has already tapped into. More importantly though, Inka's Zada Bada application comes in their genetic testing. So what this company is doing is, ये हमारे electronically saved data को knowledge graphs में convert करते हैं and they see कौन सी gene pools में किन diseases की prevalence ज़्यादा है. उसको ये फिर specialize करते हैं genome testing में. So they will test one particular set of genes from me for example or from you for example and see हमारा disease behavior कैसा रहता है. They do that for millions of genomes. They currently target to do this for 2 million genomes by 2026. And with each testing, they gain more knowledge about how our genes are connected to diseases. Now, this field is still very unexplored and as such has nearly unlimited potential. For example, if someone was to tell you that you can tell your baby's blood test that you can tell the chances of which diseases are the most important, which diseases are the weakness of which diseases, wouldn't you be willing to pay for it? That's the market that AstraZeneca is tapping into. And while this may sound a little far-fetched, Remember that we live in a world where we have self-driving cars and space tourism. Healthcare is due for a revolution. The company is also working on something called the image analysis system, which is lab testing time ko around 30% reduce kar rahe. Now this is vital for critically ill patients. So for multi-speciality hospitals or any major hospital chain, this becomes an almost must-have. This is of course not as big as the genetic testing market, but is still a cream on top. The stock looks beautifully placed for both a short term and a long term gain. If we just look at this sharp drop in the number of retail investors, we know for a fact that bade investors are making paisa dal rahe hain, and that is usually a very good sign. This is a stock I would have no qualms investing in for any time frame. More stocks on other sectors of AI to follow soon. For now, watch this video to know more about the green hydrogen sector in India. I'll see you next time.